The local authority, the Brain Charity and the Cheshire and Merseyside Rehabilitation Network collaborated together on an idea known as the Lifelink Clinic. The idea behind the Lifelink Clinic was enable three organisations to work together with their knowledge and skills for the benefit of inpatient, um, in, inpatients receiving complex rehabilitation. This would enable a drop-in facility to be piloted at one of our spoke level rehabilitation units. And the idea behind that was, was to offer a unified approach so patients and their families could drop into the service and be supported by ish with issues such as employment, employment rights, housing, finance, and many other areas such as um, rent arrears, etc. What we did, we opened up um, a drop-in service which was operated once weekly and all patients and families were invited to drop into this service to uh, have support. The Lifelink Drop-in Clinic was supported each week by a social worker, a welfare and benefits advisor from the Brain Charity and a rehabilitation coordinator. We used a, a variety of methods to evaluate the service. For example, pre-implementation, we sent out some questionnaires and we also carried out some semi-structured interviews with patients, families and staff. Post-implementation, we carried out a number of semi-structured interviews and users of the service were asked to complete an anonymous questionnaire. Some of the challenges that we've experienced uh, since implementation of the Lifelink Clinic have included uh, cultural, staff time and accessibility of the service. And some of the findings um, from the evaluation appear to echo some of the challenges that um, I've just discussed. For example, during the semi um, following thermostatic analysis of the semi-structured interviews post implementation, um, we found that a number of staff found that the Lifelink Clinic had had a really positive effect in terms of uh, creating more staff time. As the Lifelink Clinic was enabled to support patients and their families um, with the socio socioeconomic needs and therefore reducing the impact on clinicians' clinical treatment time as they were no longer having to find out um, issues about these uh, for their patients and families. Family members and patients using the service reported that often um, the service running once weekly and at, and at a certain time um, limited their accessibility to access the service. And we also found um, that user, when users of, of the service filled out um, an anonymous questionnaire, uh, both pre and, and post consultation at the clinic, we've seen a really um, positive impact on how patients and families felt that their socio-economic uh, needs were being managed. And in conjunction with this, they self-reported that they felt a lot less stress stressed and anxious about the socio-economic issues they brought to the clinic. In terms of next steps for the for the Lifelink project, um, we are in the process of, uh, of um, developing a business plan. We also aim to replicate the service on two further identified services within the Cheshire and Merseyside Rehabilitation Network. And we do aim to continue to evaluate the service so we can continue to develop it in line with what our patients and families are telling us.